Four Poems by Walt Whitman. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Bob Gonzalez. A noiseless, patient spider, I marked whereon a little promontory it stood isolated. Marked how to explore the vacant, vast surrounding, it launched forth filament, 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 out of itself, ever unreeling them, ever tirelessly speeding them. And you, O oh my soul, where you stand, surrounded, detached, in measureless oceans of space, ceaselessly musing, venturing, throwing, seeking the spheres to connect them, till the bridge you will need be formed, till the ductile anchor hold, till the gossamer thread you fling catch somewhere, O oh my soul. I saw in Louisiana a live oak growing. All alone stood it, and the moss hung down from the branches. Without any companion it grew there, uttering joyous leaves of dark green. And its look, rude, unbending, lusty, made me think of myself. But I wondered how it could utter joyous leaves, standing alone there, without its friend near, for I knew I could not and I broke off a twig with a certain number of leaves upon it, and twined around it a little moss, and brought it away, and I have placed it in sight in my room. It is not needed to remind me as of my own dear friends, for I believe lately I think of little else than of them. Yet it remains to me a curious token. It makes me think of manly love. For all that, and though the live oak glistens there in Louisiana, solitary, in a wide, flat space, uttering joyous leaves all its life without a friend, a lover near, I know very well I could not. After the sea ship, after the whistling winds, after the white-gray sails taut to their spars and ropes. Below, a myriad, myriad waves hastening, lifting up their necks, tending in ceaseless flow toward the track of the ship, waves of the ocean bubbling and gurgling, blithely prying, waves, undulating waves, liquid, uneven, emulous waves, Toward that whirling current, laughing and buoyant, with curves, Where the great vessel, sailing and tacking, displaced the surface. Larger and smaller waves, in the spread of the ocean yearnfully flowing, The wake of the sea-ship after she passes, Flashing and frolicsome under the sun, A motley procession with many a fleck of foam and many fragments, following the stately and rapid ship, in the wake following. Song for All Seas, All Ships Today a rude, brief recitative of ships sailing the seas, each with its special flag or ship signal, of unnamed heroes in the ships, of waves spreading and spreading far as the eye can reach, of dashing spray, and the winds piping and blowing, and out of these a chant for the sailors of all nations, fitful like a surge, of sea captains young or old, and the mates, and of all intrepid sailors, of the few, very choice, taciturn, whom fate can never surprise nor death dismay, picked sparingly, without noise by thee, old ocean, chosen by thee, thou sea that pickest and cullest the race in time, and unitest nations, suckled by thee, old husky nurse, embodying thee, indomitable, untamed as thee, 
ever the heroes on water or on land by ones or twos appearing ever the stock preserved and never lost though rare enough for seed preserved flaunt out o sea your separate flags of nations flaunt out visible as ever the various ship signals but do you reserve especially for yourself and for the soul of man one flag above all the rest a spiritual woven signal for all nations emblem of man elate above death token of all brave captains and all intrepid sailors and mates and all that went down doing their duty reminiscent of them twined from all intrepid captains young or old a pennant universal subtly waving all time over all brave sailors all seas all ships end of four poems by walt whitman